guys, so today is a, it's a Thursday. It's a Thursday and so we're just basically making our pre-workout meal. Now I'm still kind of on lowish carbs, so we have gone for two turkey steak breasts and a crunchy vegetable stir fry. And just so I can get my fat in, I'm going to have a whole avocado. Um, Got to say a big props to Adam Stanow for because now we're in the big city, so we're in central London, and we're in his flat, well, his, his kind of student house. And yeah, so he let me stay on the sofa, which uh, was comfortable. pretty comfortable. So I'm just gonna basically make this food, put it all together, then we're gonna head off to the gym, which is about 15 minutes away, 15, 20 minute walk. And yeah, catch up with you in a bit. What's good guys, so we're leaving the flat, pre-workout in hand, it's actually not a pre-workout, it's just two scoops of beta alanine mixed with BCAAs. Now the cool thing about this flat and why I love coming to the big city is this. You can see, hold on, the London Eye in the background. Now why do I just take beta alanine and not a pre-workout? I don't like the come down from pre-workouts, kind of kills off the rest of my day. Beta alanine just gets me absolutely wired, gets my body like tingling and yeah, so what off the train chest. I stole his shaker, he didn't have any shakers, I forgot to bring mine and he had to end up using the Lucozade water bottle. What friends for, man? What my friends for. Okay, so I think London is one of my favorite cities. Just look at the place. I've never been to New York. That's one place I really, really, really want to go. But apart from that, I think London is one of the best cities in the world. Agree? Agreed. So we're just gonna go walk into the gym now. Jubilee Hall on Covent Garden, so. It's like the gym I always use when I come here. It's like my favorite gym. And yeah, all the people are super cool. And I'm all red because I'm sunburnt from yesterday. And we're ready to roll. Okay, so I'm here in the gym just randomly. Federica comes up to me. Hello. As she does and tells me that. Da da! When the body bad times. I, did, I didn't even know about it. This is kind of nice. There it is. And she's the legend that got me to this uh, place. So I keep coming back, but she's leaving soon, which is kind of sad. sad. So I don't know if I'm gonna, now. Nah, I'll have to keep coming back. Hello. <laughs> What's good boys and girls, uh, guys and ladies, people of YouTube. So today it was chest and biceps, and it was with Adam Stannard, a brother from another mother. I've literally known him since I was five years old. And yeah, I take my hat off to him and I gotta thank him for letting me stay at his place. He always lets me crash on the couch every, si every single time I come down to London and as you can tell from the video he's literally within touching distance of the London Eye which is pretty central to London. And today we did chest and biceps in Jubilee Hall which is just in the centre of Covent Garden. It's one of my favourite gyms and it's a gym that I always visit when I come to London. We started off with uh, the flat bench press. Now the flat bench press is something that I very very rarely do. I should include it a bit more and I'm not very strong on it at all. I usually use dumbbells just because it brings more stability muscles in and I just kind of enjoy it more and feel a bit more of a squeeze but today we did flat bench press as a change because obviously you've got to change things up every once in a while to shock your body and make it grow. So I managed to get up to 100 kg for five sets of five reps. Um, trying to get my strength up a little bit on this so that was 220 pounds. Now I am trying to increase my strength but at the same time I am now dieting for body power so maybe I won't see a strength increase before body power but after that the bench press is something that I do want to increase my strength on. We then went on to do just some incline dumbbell work and then straight into uh, incline fly super set with incline dumbbells just to really overload the chest. And then we went on to do some narrow kind of push press on the edge of the bench, which I don't actually see many people do in the gym, but I find really beneficial at the end of kind of a lot of dumbbell work just to get a big squeeze in the middle of the chest and I feel it very central in my chest but obviously it's different for everybody else but I just find that it's one exercise that is kind of overlooked in the gym and not many people know about it but I find that it gives one of the best contractions which is great for bringing out the definition in the chest. And then to just fully finish off the chest we hit up some cable flies, we're hitting about 20 reps on each set and then superset with push ups. Now push ups I was at I was probably going to aim for about 6 to 8 reps and I was probably hitting about 6 reps every time. So by this time our chest was pretty fatigued and then we just did one simple exercise on bicep curls which is where you do a full bicep curl 
and then straight into a hammer curl once you can't do the full bicep curls. So you aim for about 15 reps and usually because you pick quite a heavy weight, the full bicep curls you'll be able to reach about 7 or 8 reps and then you just rep out on the hammer curls and this exercise and this way of doing it just really overloads the biceps. Now after doing 5 sets of this it felt like my biceps were going to explode. So this was the only kind of bicep exercise that we did today. But Thank you for watching the vlog. I do actually really, really appreciate you watching the vlog and that the channel is growing. Now, I'd love you to just share the video or just even like the video. It does really help the channel grow like people underestimate it. But if you keep liking the content and then we'll keep bringing it out. And yeah, I got to say hats off to you guys and thanks a lot for you guys to, uh, for watching the video. Uh, that's kind of the end of this uh, raw commentary and you'll see what we eat after and what we get up to. We were on a pretty solid session, chest and bicep started heavy, then went on to volume. But there it is, the Jubilee Hall, right in the middle of Covent Garden. So if you're ever in London, definitely check it out. It's not too expensive if you go for one-offs, uh, and the memberships aren't bad either. So definitely a place you should check out. We've got some post-workout food from Itsu. Uh, we're going to go to Trafalgar Square, and then uh, I'll show you what we got. We got the same thing. So what we both went for was a, a chicken and rice, what is it? Chicken teriyaki. Chicken teriyaki and then um, <laughs> just some like salmon, like raw salmon. Basically we went for a quick acting carb so you go for like white rice when you after you train or sometimes even things like gummy bears, spikes your testosterone, well spikes your insulin which spikes your testosterone which helps you grow, so remember that. Some quick acting carbs post workout. And then I just wanted the fat in the salmon as well because the fat in the salmon does help with your hormones as well. So how's your testosterone? And obviously testosterone, the most anabolic hormone in the body. So you've got to keep it high. Any other words? Save my food now. So we're just going to eat this. We were going to go to Trafalgar Square but he said this was a cool place and to be fair, it's a pretty cool place. So Credit, credit to uh, King credit. Rugby for Credit to King's Rugby for showing, where, showing us where it is. And uh, yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do after. That might be the end of the vlog. I don't know how to close it out. Peace. Peace. <laughs>